What's up everybody? In my possession, I have an Acer C720 Chromebook and a replacement screen for it. So I bought it off of Craigslist. It was listed at $20 with a broken screen. And it also came with a charger. So I'm going to attempt to replace this screen. First step is to turn off the laptop. You definitely don't want it running while you're replacing the screen. So I didn't cut my nails, good timing. Voila. Don't be afraid to pull on this thing. It's sturdy plastic. Okay, over here there's some clips inside of here. Take them off. Okay. So once you've removed the screen bezel this far, you'll notice that it's still locked into place here at the bottom. The hardest part seems to be this, these seated portions. may break some of the plastic inside but like again it's brittle it's four years old is to actually just lift it first from one side and then you pull it out like that now there are four one two three four screws that hold the screen in Screws are off. Let's go ahead and just put it face down. You're gonna want to see and make sure that you have the right screen. Um, so there are some Acer's that have the pin connector on the right side. Uh, the, this matches. I already knew in the description, and I already said that it matches this specific model. So you'll see here's the connector, and there's a piece of tape that's holding it. So this tape, we want to try to, uh, you know, lift the tape and then we're going to pull the plug out that way. So the screwdriver kit that I have comes with these um, tweezers. So there you have it. It looks like if you start off on this side, it's easier to just pull this way. You definitely don't want to start on this side because you risk bending this portion and breaking off your connector. Nope, comes off easily. Don't touch the plug. Leave everything in place except for the screen. Swap your screens over. So here is my replacement screen. These teeth that you see here, they definitely have to, they have to disappear inside of that connector, okay? Okay, there's a click, okay? They disappeared, they're inside. So there you have the finished product. I put a piece of tape because just in case, you never know if if I tug it when I'm putting everything back together I don't want it to unseat from itself it's nice to have a magnetic uh, screwdriver so I just noticed that there's a film <laughs> on the brand new screen well, no duh, right? <laughs> so let me remove this. That's why I couldn't get that screw in there. Here's the test, just so you can see that it works. I'm going to insert into here, the bottom first. Okay. Uh, just go around snap it all together when you're putting back the screen I did notice that I wasn't able to get it firmly seated here and the reason why is because the cable has these little plastic grooves that it needs to go through so 
it wasn't properly inserted in there. So the guy that sold it to me listed it as the screen is broken but everything else works. Well, after I repaired the screen I can see that that is not true. So watch out when you guys buy some stuff like this online.